one day you're going to fly away. Come on, with the way water has been flooding the whole of this Lagos, let me just go and be practicing my... Because what? No, you, you, you can actually swim now, so it, let's oh, yeah, Well, you know, because I don't want you guys to like, feel like jealous. You get that. I'll not be doing like this inside. You understand? Sorry. Yeah. Have you seen that um, car that Tunde not usually post? You know, that car that swims and then can drive on land. Is that what you purchased recently? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. Yeah. How much is your salary again? Oh, it, I mean, I don't get paid, you know. Okay, so, all right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, guys, picture this. <laughs> your life is a movie and you are the main character. You act your script, but there's a hidden camera and a director whom you can ask for help anytime looking at you from above. Okay, wow, I see what you did there. It's getting to me, Spielberg. <laughs> We're all spiritual on us. It's good. I mean, coming from Dala. Anyway, <laughs> getting here, guys, it's about to get interesting as we dive into the movie world today. And we will be your guardians. Ah, ah. Okay. Because what? Because we are. We are. We are. <laughs> Thank you. I don't understand. <laughs> yes, so, so grab your drinks and popcorn because we're about to spice up your afternoon with top-notch entertainment content. Believe me, you can't get this service anywhere else in the whole wide Tell world. Tell them, let them know. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm still working on this, you know, but, you know, King of Venus, Prince of Jupiter, um, last born of Mars. Ladies and gentlemen, they call me the one, the only Big J in the building. Big J. J money. Okay. Only for the week of us. Because I don't even want to. Are we so bored? So, is that that is always having problems with people using everything that she uses? Ah, J Paul has now entered my color. Yeah, okay. Like this. So, we say you have a problem now. <laughs> All right. It's your homegirl right here. It's your girlfriend next door. It is the Joe in the crown. It is Venus. Sit well, right? Yes. It is. Honish money. Yeah. Honey money. Mm -mm -mm. Honey rapper. Mm -mm -mm. Money fits me right. Of course. Right? Of course. Right? Of course. <laughs> of course. Okay. My name is Olayemi. It shock you. <laughs> wow. This one we have dragged all our men name outside today. Not it's okay. It's okay. All right, guys. It is your girl Dala, aka the goddess of skills, formerly twin one. Um, but yeah, I've distwined my twin. Because of excessive bad behavior. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. I agree. Also, the month of October is, you know, it's almost over. So let me just fling him before that time. Men has come. <laughs> but yes. Last, last. It's a girl. La, 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 la. <laughs> yes. You wanted to say something? No, last, last. Everybody always joke breakfast. Yeah, that's why you wanted to give me breakfast. No, no. You, she's the one serving me the breakfast. You said? Uh -uh. What did you serve me this weekend? Why are you playing the victim? What did you serve me this weekend? I want the one this weekend. Big Jay. Eh? It's okay, it's okay. They're not uh, shaving stick. <laughs> Yes. All right, guys, we are feeling pumped, and that's what we've got lined up for you today. Stories making waves in the entertainment world, and of course, celebrity birthday shout outs. Want to know what happened in the entertainment history today? Well, you can catch that on Rewind also. All right, we'll then be finding out who we've got on where they are now, while Dala will be bringing us today's dose of social media craziness only on Social View. And still to come on the second half of the show is the trade off segments, then we will be having the news recap after which we'll be joined by our guests who will then wrap it all up with what are you watching hey. let the show start all right <laughs> red time <laughs> all right ladies and gentlemen the show is about to kick off we hope you're ready because this is east splash and right now is the entertainment news and let's kick it off. First off, no Nigerian film will be submitted for the Oscars. Oh my goodness. Mm. Following the internal crisis and the back and forth that has rocked the Nigerian Official Selection Committee, NOSC, it is now official that no Nigerian film will be submitted for the International Feature Film, IFF, category for the Oscars 2023. All of this is coming after the NOSC reached a no revolt verdict despite the intervention of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences organizers of the Oscars, who extended its submission deadline to allow the committee members reconvene, possibly to revote. In a leaked video which was recorded on Thursday, October 20, 2022, the committee voted 9-6 in favor of protecting the initial vote of September the 3rd, 2022, Members of the 15-member committee who wanted a no revolt includes the chairperson Chineze Ayane Aboyi, Omotola Jalade Ekainde, 
Stephanie Linus, Bruce Ayonote, Ade Tokumbo Odubao, Izu Ojuku, Yibo Koko, Meg Otanwa, and John Njama, while Mahmoud Ali Balogun, the committee's vice press chair chairperson, Mildred Okwo, these names are killing me, Shaibu Useni, Ego Boyo, Moses Babatope, and Kenneth Giang wanted a revolt. In the long now deleted leaked video, a number of shocking allegations of bribery and intense lobbying were cited as major reasons for the current unrest. If you would recall in a statement released by the NOSC in September, the committee voted for three films, Ebony Lives, Elesh Yoba, Kunle Afolayons and Nikolako, and Femi Adebayo's produced King of Thieves. While eight members voted for new submission, five reportedly voted for election, but while the remaining films splitted the votes 1-1. Just so you know, since the committee's crisis, at least three of its members, which includes Mildred Oko, Shaibu Husseini, and Kenneth Giang, have announced their resignation. Wow. 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 <laughs> wow. Like, wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. So what Mario. is really happening? Okay. Small committee, we will say, <laughs> just for more. First of all, I'll just say that this is a big shame and embarrassment shame. On the, like, of the highest order. Shame. So now, you have the opportunity for your movie to go in and win an Oscar and represent the entire Nigeria. But then, some people are now lobbying for a particular movie, and that's the reason why there's so much internal crisis And some people on. just felt that, see, if this thing is not going to work, let us let just us scatter, just scatter it. So I, I was actually scatter, I was actually um, online and then I saw somewhere um, I think it was a blog it was a blog that wrote I can't remember it was last paragraph and then they said that the problem is that election Oba nobody has seen it yes nobody, nobody has seen it, has seen it. We've, we've all, nobody has seen it we've all not seen it but we've all seen King of Thieves yes. and then um, we've seen Anikulakwa as well so like okay so if you're voting we should be voting for a movie that we've seen, seen. We've, we've known how it's even doing here yes. to be able to push it there yes so the people voting for election Oba where everybody just Did like, they what's going private on? Screening, so private they said there was a viewing. private screening somewhere. I don't know, maybe cancel festival. I, I don't know what. But I think it's just a shame for the Oscars to actually say, you know what, you guys didn't pick a movie at first. We're going to extend, give you guys extra time to and pick then a they movie. Gave us... And you still did not pick a movie. Oh, no. Shame. It's actually That's really it. interesting what? because um, we spoke about this last week. Yeah. Right? And we had ruckus about it. Like, nobody has seen Elisha Oba. I don't know if the slated date was meant for this Friday, but then it's coming out this Friday on Netflix, right? There's a lot of rancor about it, a lot of rancor. People are saying, how can you bring a movie that we've not seen? You get, and now people are actually, they, oh, there's actually a premiere on Friday for it, so they've... they've but that is still on Friday. It's on Friday, people have not seen it. And then there's the fact that the uh, IFF, the people gave us another chance, the Try. Oscars gave us another chance. Because, I mean, there's been back and forth on social media, Twitter, everybody's coming Does and saying... Does this show that we can't put our house together? It it's just, shame. It just means we don't <laughs> love ourselves. Yeah. Oh, we are not selfish mean? people. What is we don't mean? love what is ourselves. Happening? Bribery, lobbying... Oh. Because it's a shame because right now we're in, see, everybody has said the music industry has been making waves for so long. The sports industry, they've made waves. Now I'm it's so time pissed. for the, we're actually making the movies now that can compete on the international level. <laughs> it's time for us to now take that step and be recognized worldwide as filmmakers and we are doing this to ourselves. And especially with the fact that people have really put in work. Mm -hmm. Now, why do you now make make nonsense of what they have put <laughs> together because you guys cannot just come together just because oh no i mean i've just been shame. shame you will still have strength for, i cannot say anything more than a shame I, i'm i'm i mean what? to the people that have resigned because people have turned out their yes, resignation yes because i don't I blame can't be them. a part of this i won't be able to be a part of I this if this blame. is what is and it must have been that bad for them to say you know what i need to turn up my resignation because i'm not going to be here when this thing is happening it makes no sense how will i tell my kids that oh the time Nigeria should have been selected for Oscars in Nigerian oh, no. film, I was part oh, of no. the committee, and this is what happened. I'll resign. I'll not even put it in my resume. Huh. It's a shame. Oh, wow, you've joined me. A shame. All right, <laughs> but... Of course, it's yeah. a shame. A very big shame, but hey, um, since that's how we've chosen to run with it, let's run with it and be mm. going. I've been asked, would like to be local champions it's at the this Oscars point. It's the Oscars that I blame. It's Oscars. I don't even blame the Oscars, I because it's been... It's, 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 it is actually... 
crazy that we've worked so hard for Oscars to recognize us. They not recognize us. And I said, sorry, we don't have him to give you. Like they shouldn't what? have given us the opportunity to maybe that. <laughs> maybe that. Mm -hmm. All right, still on the entertainment news. Cardi B and Madonna make amends. Queen of Pop Madonna celebrated the 30th anniversary of her then controversial coffee table book, SEX, by praising herself with a post on her Instagram story stating that she paved the way for women like Kim Kardashian, Miley Cyrus, and Cardi B, who are not less than pleased by that statement. Madonna wrote, and I quote, 30 years ago, I published a book called SEX in addition to photos of me naked kissing everyone. I also wrote about my sexual fantasies and shared my point of view about sexuality in an ironic way. I spent the next few years being interviewed by narrow-minded people who tried to shame me for empowering myself as a woman. I was called a pleep, a witch, a heretic, and the devil. Now, Cardi B can sing about her WAP, Kim Kardashian can grace the cover of any magazine with her naked pleep, and Miley Cyrus can come in like a wrecking ball. You're welcome. Please end of quote. Madonna ended with a clown face emoji. Reacting to that statement, Cardi B took to Twitter to pour out her mind, writing, and I quote, I literally paid this woman homage so many times because I grew up listening to her. She can make her point without putting clown emojis and getting slick out the mouth. These icons really become disappointments once you make it in the industry. That's why I keep to myself. End of quote. The rapper wrote all of this in a now deleted tweet alongside a screenshot of a 2018 Billboard article in which he praises Madonna. Cardi B later returned to Twitter writing, and I quote again, I talked to Madonna, it was beautiful. Have a great day and drive safely, y'all. End of quote. Also replied that tweet writing, and I quote, I love you, Cardi B. Always have and always will. End of quote. In a video posted to Hollywood Unlocked's Instagram account, Cardi B shared a few more words about her telephone conversation with Madonna. She said, and I quote again, I'm glad I had a conversation with Madonna because I am sensitive. You already know I'm a sensitive gangster. My feelings were a little hurt because to me, Madonna is not no regular artist. She's actually somebody that I really look up to and of course. All right, so about this, I would say that I understand where Madonna is coming from and I don't mm. think that she was actually uh, firing shots at, um, you know, Cardi B. She mentioned more than a name mm -hmm. and it wasn't about them, like having a problem with them. them. Just saying that, oh, when I was doing this, you know, people had problems with it. But yeah. now... Pe Younger people are not coming and they're doing the same thing. And then all of a sudden, you people did not have any problems with it. And then I'll say again, I'll take you back to school, you know, in literature. Way back, you could not talk about, you know, nudity and talk about, you know, vulgar things like mm -hmm. that. You have to code it like the Elizabethan era. You're talking about, you know, uh, those era, 18th century and all the that. Corsets, you, you write, ball gowns yes, you, and you write a novel modest, and then yeah. you're talking about sex and then you're not talking about it the way, you know, mm -hmm. it is. Uh, but then modern literature. You can always talk about uh, vulgar things. You can come and write whatever thing you want, and then the world has evolved and is exposed. You know, maybe we should put it that way, or we yeah. say things uh, fall apart, the center can no longer hold. But then again, I do understand that, that is the era she comes from, like way back where mm. you could not, but she was living the future. Oh, what will happen? And people found it weird. <laughs> and uh, I don't think Cardi B should always respond to like everything even if she's sens <laughs> sensitive and i think again that this she's is sensitive the gangster one two three four five uncountable times that she's done this oh so yeah madonna wrote what she wrote but then you respect her and then you say oh to think that i've always you know respected this woman and all that and then you you now put a phone call through and you know did she explain stuff to you now you're not coming to mm -hmm. and then you not pull that one down wishing that you never even did that because you just feel that your feelings were hurt i think cardi will not just stop and uh, you, the other day we're talking about how she's 30 now i think she should grow up we love cardi b but i think that there are some things that you know you should there are things that you should even ignore if somebody is not attacking you directly okay so um so i feel about the situation that I see the beef between cardi b and Nicki minaj that happened right for instance in a few years time when cardi b be becomes the Nicki. Become, becomes in that position yes, where there are new yes, people. Yes, she and will other do people worse. will come. 
she would do worse. Now, that being said, Madonna's discussion and bragging, right? Like, I don't feel like that's something to even be bragging about. It's, her, you, it's Madonna. It's what she's if done. If 50 Cent comes and says, oh, I'm responsible for all the guys wearing their pants on their butt now, that's, that's like, why are you bragging about that? Uh, yeah. Different things are important to different people. Yes, now. so different things are important yeah, to different so people. And, and again, uh, I can kind of understand where Madonna is coming from because she had to fight against like a an entire things, populist yeah. mentality. So it's, it's also yeah. like it's an easy thing to do. So if she's going to say, you know what, I did it, then I don't, I don't really think there's a problem okay. with that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for celebrity birthday shout out. In alphabetical order today, celebrants are the following people. First up is Ciara, who is 37 today. She's an award-winning American singer, songwriter, model, dancer, and businesswoman. She was hailed as the first lady of Kronk and B. Some of her songs include Like a Boy, Goodies, One, Two, Step, Level Up, amongst others. Level Up. Which we always use. Uh -huh. <laughs> so it was, let me see you want to step. I like uh -huh. But I was very happy for, um, for Ciara. Ciara. Uh, her life looked like it was going one way, and then one time like that, and mm -hmm. then like suddenly she <laughs> decided to make different <laughs> choices. I did not call anybody's name. On I'll call somebody's name. Her future was not about to be futuring. And so. then <laughs> we had the rock so Come yes, and helped her. I love their love. Yeah, I absolutely love it. And when I found out that she's actually older than Russell, I'm like, see, let's not be putting um, <clears throat> age on anything. It is because, what works like, for people. See, it's what works for you, love. Like, she's living her best life and having the best time. Yeah. I mean, her. she came in an era where we had all the Chris Browns and the rest, and she was mm -hmm. able to, you know, bring Crunk and B and did all the dance moves. So we love you, Ciara. Yeah, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Mm -hmm. And next up, we have Craig Robinson, who is 51 today. The American actor and comedian is best known for portraying Daryl Philbin on the TV series The Office. His other notable television shows and films include The Cleveland Show, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Hot Top Time Machine, Get Up, Up, Dolomite Is My Name, amongst others, as well as voicing characters in films such as Shrek, Forever After, The Bad Guys, and others. Mm. So I'll say he's the quintessential funny black guy. Like when you see him, he's very loud, he's mm. very obnoxious, but then you just have to love him. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. And this next is posthumous birthday shout out to the one, the only, Da Green. He was a Nigerian rapper whose style of rapping incorporated Yoruba, English and Pidgin English. Some of his works include Pom Pom Pom, Kondo, If I Die, Thank God, amongst others. He would have been 38 today. Mm, and I woke up to uh, some of his videos, some of his works and all that, and it just brings to mind that, oh my God, this dude was really doing a fantastic yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. But, you know, it was cut short in his prime uh, so sorry about that. Yeah, I uh, would forever miss him. Yeah, uh, rest in peace. Continue to rest in peace, Mr. Green. Yeah, and you. he's a pioneer for most of the new sound that we have today, mm -hmm. from the Ashake to all of them. He pioneered most of that sound. So happy posthumous birthday to the Green. All right, next up we have Katy Perry, who is 38 today. She's an award-winning American singer, songwriter, and reality show judge. After singing in church during her childhood, she pursued a career in gospel music as a teenager. She's one of the world's most best-selling music artists, having sold over 143 million records worldwide. Her songs include I Kiss the Girl, Hot and Cold, Firework, Dark Horse, Ra, Electric, amongst others. Katy Perry. Katy Perry. I'll say she's one of the most eccentric uh, performers that I know. Um, if she's not constructing a very big, like, horse to be on for, like, one performance, <laughs> she's wearing an odd outfit. Like, I just absolutely love how you can never predict what her performance is going to be. Mm. But I absolutely love Katy Perry's voice. Yeah, I do. It is clear, it is sharp, and it is beautiful. 
All right, guys, happy birthday to every single person who is celebrating today. You might not be on our list because, I mean, it's a two-hour show. We have to take every single person. We'll probably not be able to, but we love you. We adore you. Thank you so much for always tuning into the show. And uh, we wish you the absolute best today. I love it. So is that is that you know that small sound? That yes, I love no, it. Dead, the magic, yeah. I, I love it. It was sprinkle of vibes. Sounds like a sweet bird singing to me in the morning, yeah. early in that's the morning. Yes. No, 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 no. That's what they call it. No, I'm talking about those ones that oh my god, you, you, you like to wake up to them. All right. Yeah. But this oh, way, yes, baby. But this is a flood day like this now. More kind of bed good day. Make noise no, for them as in tree. Let us be able to now. fantasize a bit. Like, it's yeah. okay. Sorry. <laughs> you shall know that when you reach outside, you go meet them. <laughs> meet okay. what? Um. No, <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Welcome to Social Veil. Yeah. We are about to dive into the social media space, and it is filled with all the humor and savagery you can think of. All right. <clears throat> Mo Ibrahim is here saying, Tech bros, arise. We need a platform that does insurance for wigs. Allows women to pay for wigs easily, disrupt the wig space, and we'll call it Wiggy Vest. Hmm. Wow. I think this person must have been on something to sit down and start thinking about women actually, wig one. Actually. To now think of what the wig can do. Yeah. Then the name of it, Wiggy Vest. I yeah. like it, actually. I like it, but yeah. Can relate. So people can borrow a wig on that platform. Yes. So if you have events, your movie premiere, you I, I, just go and borrow, go and borrow yeah, by so, your side. So you can have access to some very pretty wigs mm -hmm. uh, that you can on the normal day not afford mm -hmm. and then return, Rent use it, it for the purpose. Mm -hmm. You might not own it. In this country. I, I think it's nice. I think it's so return. nice. But I don't know whether I can fully relate because <laughs> for the past how many months now I have been packing my hair so, if I have so, my way. <clears throat> out of three of us, who start that business? Um, three of us. Mm. Uh, maybe it's Jay Paul. Okay, that tech bro. Yes, maybe <laughs> it's Jay Paul that was because I don't know whether it will fly with me. No, I've got a lot late. of weeks in the house, but I'm not looking that at the side. It, that because return policy does not work in this country. No, it will work in. No, it will work. So if you book a shop fee, yes, the shop fee so will be more than terms the... and condition. Imagine apply. see. <laughs> Question we go past the week. Yeah. So if you don't Ima bring the imagine week Imagine that I gets you know the week. She no call returner. You know that thing that they do? They will not send WhatsApp messages. So everybody to who knows. <laughs> that, so everybody who knows that, like, good day. Gala oh is owing us one red wig with no, Those thank people you. are not nice at all. Somebody said that if they do it to him, that he knows that he's owing, you know, that you will never pay, that you have disgraced me. That is just really like. You have done your worst. <laughs> all right. At uh, Oluwashio 9 is saying, My sister, don't they call my friend Big Head? It's making you no know, be waiting at the thing. Ah, mm. he be waiting you, they think. It is what yes, it is. Yes, it is so, what it so is. So I have a very strong question why do guys have a problem with their younger sisters talking it's to their not friends the younger okay sister. so i'll it's tell like, i'll tell you why i'll you tell know how you are uh, because that is what they are you know how you are now see finish person where you call but that badger that knows you when you were wearing a pin is it napkin you know what i'm saying big girl see you ah something on no, the app it just it's not right for when us you guys. Know, Go he said, in your room. It's, not, it's not right. It's not like me, OJ, say, he like my sister. What's wrong with that? Is OJ not no. a respectable young so man? It's supposed so to be brother to my sister. sister. Me me they no, you because, are already the brother. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> because they are related. I can't sense. imagine OJ. I know. In fact, I know what I will do after this show. Actually, I'll, 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 I will hook them up. I actually understand yes. the emotions that come with this. Uh -uh. Like, you're my friend. But no, this, don't do the that. The question here now is, why do girls call guys big head? Why? I if don't you don't know, know forget about it. Thing, Sha, but then I, I, if you don't know about it, forget can, about it. Can I it. pull your must <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Family <laughs> rugby. <laughs> that was only bad. You will kill him. <laughs> Just forget it. It was just like yeah, that, when one they just need to give me oxygen tank, tank by CBC, the way. CBC <laughs> Connect, the PR department took of uh, of us, and so J Paul was holding me. You need to read those comments. Like, you say, J Paul, this is too much. No, it's like J Paul likes things that look like it's soon perish. But it's okay. No, I'm, I'm taking a lot of oxygen now. So. Let's do this. I will cut. <laughs> Uh, Q 
cute DBM is saying, chilling with my family, and then put up these pictures, beautiful, amazing pictures <laughs> of the person with their family members. And the Sherry King, and I said, now POS, you snap this picture because Actually, what is the quality? Glory. What's the quality of this picture? Glory. My goodness. Like, what is this? Is the guy posting it for me? Can he even see himself? But this is what they call work with what you have to get what you want. Chilling as you are saying this thing now, somebody can just decide to sow seed inside his life and say, you know what, this as they have abused you, I'm going to make your life better. I'm going to send you 14 apple. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it will be oranges. Now, yeah. <laughs> now, because you don't use, you don't use iPhone, 14. you don't know what is say 14 <laughs> apple. No, I know it's iPhone 14, but... Oh, really? Darling, it's 14 apple. Just bring them. <laughs> no, I'm sweating inside AC. Please 14 apple. You what deserve it. No, that's not 14 sense. apple. It will be please. 40 orange. You people, you people know that I'm an Android girl. So please, 14 apple. <laughs> They'll be fine. All right, I don't know what this name is, Anyton. But wow, Anyton. Wow. Uh, please, I think maybe one day I'll vent about people that say that. <laughs> what is at any turn? But okay. They said, are you a mechanic or a baller? Adeji and Scott Morafa now said, he usually fluctuates. That's, that's actually the job, big brother. So, it... oh, wow. <laughs> wow. I officially cannot take him seriously. I'm sorry. He it's usually fluctuates. So, that thing of today, you might be a mechanic, mechanic tomorrow, you might be a, a baller. baller. <laughs> but, but mechanics are ballers. Actually, How about that for size? Actually, I know ballering, mechanic, mechanic, baller. Yeah. Uh, which one are you, people? Bola, Bola. I don't know about the mechanic. So, J. Paul is buying us food after the show. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> what happened? It's fine, it's fine. Okay. It's okay. They say, Osulo, make your boyfriend no talk say when she's hungry, she's going to come back. <clears throat> yeah. Only part, I know that you want to say something. I don't want to say anything. You know you have a lot to say. I don't have anything to say. As I've just, <laughs> because me, I'm always, I'm used to. <laughs> I'm not used to waiting for people before. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> thank you. What about you bring me shit? Very much. So wait, is there actually, because I know girls. No, uh, your gender, they do do it. No, your gender do it. Is you people? No. On your phone, you have uh, j -Paw food. It's good, you know. OG, MTN. It's, it's good, you know. Uh, <laughs> It's good, you know. Yo, the right I, just got re I just got requested J4 on my phone now that you have brought yes, it to my attention. Yes, I need to actually. give you. What is it that J4. you are even... Let me see. Let me J4. See. Pizza. pizza. <laughs> wow. J4 pizza. Me, I'll yeah, just write. I'll take that. I'll, take I'll that. just write J4. Sly. <laughs> if you it's okay. know, you know. It's okay. It's okay. All right. <laughs> and Dalton Jubal is saying first day at the gym to register, and I met them performing CPR on someone. I know God often speaks in parables, <laughs> but this one was too clear. Oh, Nick wants to tell it. You understand? Like, you did not even want to do anything before. So, mm -hmm. what is it? So, you're thinking already that you're going to pass out. Pass out first. This and let them resuscitate so, you. Oh, no. They say, when somebody has put hand inside fire, it's your job to tell that person to put hand inside fire. So, now, this one that has passed out, he cannot even tell you have passed out. So, as you have seen it, <laughs> you go house. I just so, imagine the guy walking in and then... He will just walk back. No, there's no, <laughs> no need for question, no talking. No. Ah, I beg go. Me, I went to gym. Oh, ah. my God. That just is so long. And then I went to look for, apart from the instructor, I went to look for private instructor, ah. personal one. And so I told one of my friends, a guy, and he started screaming, no, don't go. Uh -uh. Don't. Why? I said, why? I said, ha. Ha what? Personal. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay, let's go. Honey pot, honey pot. <laughs> Before I know, honey pot will be the weight. That shit already, you know. Hey, hey, hey. There's a pool. There's a hey, pool. Hey, hey, hey. Pool. <laughs> <coughs> Next one. Next one. All right, this person said, at least I know this Yoruba. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I know this one. Yeah. So. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, stop. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Please, that I'm a British girl. Head. You shame us. Talele. 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 Please, I'm a fresh girl. Don't, don't drag me. So, Talele. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I was watching the video of that, uh, that Yoruba man that was teaching the, I think it was Indian or oh, something. Oh, yeah, it was, it was so cute. He said, yeah. if you know the up and the down, you know the Yoruba. So, Talele. 
I think it's the other way around. Leave me alone. <laughs> so they said, baby, it's me now. I slept off since the strike started. That's why I haven't texted you. I still clear, care. I just woke up. Hey, yeah. So I want to understand this thing very clearly. He's been you, sleeping so, since so strike. the thing is, so you had baby in school, you now <laughs> abandoned the babe, school they have now colour strike. Yes. You now remember that ah oh, this school we've been lonely without you. And there are guys like this, so no. that is what they do. In every city they have a girl. So when they visit Ibadan, yes. they will put a call. BC Ibadan. Ibadan girl that is not Lagos. They did not check on. Wait, since I, I don't forever. Why you are looking at me? I'm saying, looking at you. No, because but, the way I'm looking at you, no, you will be so, guilty of something like this. I don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what I'm okay. talking about. I just about. like okay. to travel. Oh, I wow. like to go yeah, to... Oh, wait. Oh, so wow. you're telling me that oh, if, wow. I, if I bring out your phone now and check, I will not see your name with place by the side. I will not take Broke this from you. Lucky face one. No. <laughs> Even now, have Ibeju Lucky. I know who I am. I know what I am. Ibeju Lucky. I just like traveling. What let me you? tell you. Let me tell you who you will meet, <laughs> Jepo. Precious. Who? Oh? Precious. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. J Paul's picture is here. Let's find out why. <clears throat> they said, me, <laughs> I sent you money for transport. Why are you not here yet? Her, I lost all my contacts. Who is this? <laughs> uh -uh. Don't I just love this person? I absolutely wow. I, I, I adore love, it. I love the accent. Who is this? Who is this? And yes. see men at school. Why are you sending money for transport? What did you want? Did you... What did you want to happen upon arrival why did you after the utilizing... Money? The transfer money. Why did you receive it? So because you send money doesn't mean that it will come. It's even the fact you can that send. some guys still believe that when you visit them, you have come from your house because you would need something. <laughs> yes. So these... So, oh, wow. What I want to say now? Why did you what, 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 what could it be why would you that travel? you might need okay. that made you leave your house and okay, go to so a guy's I'm, house? I'm going to yes. say it as PG as possible. <laughs> if you now understand, that's your business. All right? So, do you know that when somebody, this is how I feel, you are in your own house. This is just to justify transport money. Me, you are in your own house, lying <laughs> down, watching TV, relaxing. The babe will not be on the road, jumping, jumping, jumping. Cause it might not even be cargo that they sent her. Then she will not hustle, 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 hustle. Reach she will not mm -hmm. reach you. You will not be saying, why should you send that transport money? You are in your house, why didn't you go? I don't know why they are looking at me. I, I really don't understand. <laughs> All right, it's Jebos. <clears throat> Clueless for me in this matter, but I know you know what I'm saying. Time check, the first hour of the show is done. But still to come, we have the Chew It Up, the Entertainment News Recap, our guest interview, and of course, what are you watching? So make sure that you stick around. Alrighty, thanks for staying here with us. In case you're just joining us, this is the second half of the show, and we are so ready to keep you more entertained right about now. It's time to chew it off. Time for one of us to let us know what's bothering him or her. And I am perfectly good. I don't talk my own already. <laughs> okay, so that makes it me. Hmm. Who is the angry bird? Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> All right, what's 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 First of all, it would be the high level of, uh, in, in, well, I would say insecurity. Insecurity. Yeah, insecurity in the sense that um, recently on the island, okay. even, even here on the mainland, there's been viciousness by the police department that has been very vicious. Oh, wow. Yes, they've, it's like they've had some sort of order to clamp down mm -hmm. on people. And the past few days, I mean, I've been on the road, especially at night, you're going for events. Yesterday was very dramatic. It was like from, there were like five different stops on the road. Hmm. And they've searched me before. I'm like, even with Oga and Pre Press, the Oya Park, they, they stopped me, they did all that stuff. So it's, it's becoming very vicious. Like, it's actually vicious. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they have a warrant to, or do they have a warrant they to, have a, a to warrant. search? Do they, and there's really nothing there. They still put you there. They, if I yesterday, they were telling me, I'm going to the station. For what? I, I don't know. Hmm. I'm going to stay. Uh, I'm like, wait, what did I do? You know that kind of Maybe thing? Maybe like, it's your dread that is putting you in trouble. But I don't understand how somebody's hair 
should be put well, in well, the we design. Why so, so we all know. I saw Hermes too. Yeah. Hermes put up a video yesterday and was talking about how and he started shouting at, like it was telling people that this is profiling, you mm -hmm. know, and they were checking. And he was even in a cab with his yes, manager, yeah. He, he, and he took a cab, so he was saying that uh, he does not even have a car yet, so but mm -hmm. they are checking, Sha. Mm -hmm. So he said, uh, "Tell me what this is if it is not profiling." Mm -hmm. And I think that our police are not yet. Um, so I don't know how to how to put yeah. perhaps that word to use that word. Because I always talk about it. OJ is constantly entering there. <laughs> what do you want him yeah, to trap. do? I, I know one dada at my tailor's place. That dada is dada because it goes to like a white garment church mm -hmm. and he has that, you know, long dread and everything. Guess what? They are always disturbing this dude because he has... And this dude is not even your... It's not like um, he's not a turn up guy. Maybe if he's, he's not... turn, up, turn up in his own, yeah. it's a tailor minding his business, <laughs> doing his work, going yeah. to work, waking up and going to, mm -hmm. and then they keep disturbing. So I don't know when we're going to get to that level, and you start har you stop harassing people because of the way they look. Mm -hmm. So you see me, and you see that oh she has piercings, and mm -hmm. then you say. Okay, oh, come down, come down. Oh, it was even me and Dala going out, ah. and then Dala's car is purple, <laughs> and it was the Dala's car we were going out. That day, I just knew that. No, forget it. It was not Dala, <laughs> Soma, and I, me, I like, ah, how? How did I even enter? <laughs> but I made sure that as they were, so that they can be very funny. Different things happened before. You know how they, are, they wanted to check her bag, her handbag, mm -hmm. and I'm like, no, it's wrong. It's wrong. Mm -hmm. And so they were checking the car. And while they were checking the car, I put an eye there because I don't want anybody, I don't want them dropping anything, anything the there. You have to be careful. And then lying against you that you found something in your, so I was like this. I will not stand, you know. In, uh, the guy did not have breathing space. You know, like, like, was tracking. I was like this. This weekend has been uh, dramatic. Okay, so Cross was with me. Cross was also complaining. Uh, uh, know, Cross almost, too. You no, know, Cross was a day <laughs> before. They did it to cross. Uh, I didn't know um, that the next day was going to be my own experience too. So it's just something like, yes, we look cool. It's new school. It's 21st century. We're looking cool. All right. We're also doing stuff. We are hey, 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 let me set you first before <laughs> you go in Hey, hey, hey. I can't be going. <laughs> you know, lights. <right? laughs> Love and peace. But yeah, you're saying, you're saying. Yeah, I, we're actually smart people out there doing yeah. stuff, making something with our lives. And... I mean, we've. I think by now we should have gone past this. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there still has to be a lot of sensitization, I, I education don't... amongst the police officers I, I, in their me, training. I pray that they don't because. Be. <sighs> so I'm going to say, hmm, how will I say? I will say it. Nothing concerns me. So is how, like I was saying, I don't see how an item of clothing or a ring or an earring suddenly means that this person's occupation is yeah. it because... Is it you Yes, because <laughs> I find that even when you watch serial killer documentaries, the, the people that you never expected... Are the ones... The family daddy that they agree... Well, Actually... Oh, good morning! It's the person <laughs> yeah. that is doing the things you don't expect, like, they expect them to do. So I think this profiling is just a, a huge mess, and then Nigerian Niger police just needs to get their act together, because Actually, what? I, I'm even what? surprised. And the way they were searching Hermes yesterday, like, the police was looking for his child's uh, report card. <laughs> like, it was... See, uh, yesterday, it felt as if my life, I was fighting for my life on the road. Do you understand? Because I'm, I'm, on the, I'm talking about something, I'm driving, the next thing I'm facing, I'm almost going to the station. Mm, Do you get it? I get it. I get myself out of it. And then I go, so we got to another spot. It was at um, Hard Rock and we we're about to enter. And then we see the level of the area boys. Mm. So I was now fighting another battle there. I get of it. Of insecurity. Sorry. So we are constantly fighting for our lives and in the reason, a country that we are actually paying tax. I try as much as possible to do everything. I cross the T's and dot my I's. Sheba was talking about it here. How I had been carrying my car to, you know, drive my car to VIO. And all. Mm -hmm. I make sure that my papers, so that when you ask me, so when I give you all those things and you said, please do not choke, don't disturb me, don't. So the thing is, you have everything and then they will still want <sighs> to find one way or the other to. I try to by, obey. By, the... by, by the way, getting full is a sport now. Oh, yeah. Oh, some of us <laughs> got full tank last week. <laughs> Actually, that saving grace, and yeah. I never even saw it coming. I just said, let me just do it. <laughs> and she has, okay? I you thank never God. see <laughs> me coming. <laughs> but by the way, uh, I hope I don't get to call out a 
Mm. Station Only because it's not your date to vent. Yeah, yes, thank you. Let's, let's, go. Go. Let's, go. let's go. Keep let's it for your own date to vent. Thank you. All right, <laughs> getting right to it. It is now time for a quick recap of the entertainment news. J Paul, what did you tell us? Yes, on the entertainment scene, uh, sadly, no Nigerian film will be submitted for the Oscars. Because they don't, they do Mago Mago. Sad, sad. Yeah. All right, we also told you that Cardi B and Madonna make amends. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, All right, we'll be back after this timeout. You guys stay tuned and keep watching. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> welcome back. And you, when we went off the break, we we're talking about what are you watching right now? And uh, it's time for you to send in your messages, call us, tell us what you're watching right now, what stuck out for you in the movie, and how you rate it. You know, Dala already said it. Don't uh, go and write one word. Okay. Well, write everything. I could have one person here that is stressing my life already. Uh, let's start. Can it. I? Okay. Debbie Murphy, please, what's the problem? <laughs> Debbie said, I watched Black Adam, I'll rate it 9 over 10. I will not tell you about it. Go wait, and wait, watch. Wait. Black Adam is out. Oh, yeah. Is the, I will not tell you about it. Go and watch. <laughs> so, you know. Right after how he said no, hello. Debbie meant you. You know how you said So, I don't, I don't want to spoil it. So, Debbie is. <laughs> oh, my Victor, word. Victor from Ogba, how are you? <laughs> hello, Victor. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm hearing you. Oh, good afternoon, Victor. All right, so you want to tell us the movie you watched recently? Um, I was actually going with the movie that I watched. Um, Interview with the Vampire. Oh, wow. Ah. It also has another movie, 1994 movie. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. So Which this one is did you movie. see? The 2022 or the 1994 one? I watched both. I first watched the 1994 one, then I watched the series. Okay. Wow. Recently. Okay. How would you rate it? Um, in a solid 8.5. 8. Mm. Same wow. rating. Wow. Yeah, the movie, the wow. movie really moved me. I really loved it. Yes. I sure oh, no. I didn't watch it with Dala. <laughs> 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 Thank you so much. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you for having such good taste and for loving vampires. It's well. just weird. It's having the same movie with you and the same rating. Okay. Is the way you say, is the way you set yourself up. I'm, I'm avoiding. Sorry. Ah, okay. Focus. Um, we have Kiki Do saying, actually watched the School of Good and Evil, featuring Kate Blanchett, uh, Charlize Theron, Kerry Washington, Mark Heap, etc. It's about two brothers who owned a school of good and evil. The evil wanted to supersede the good. It's a nice movie. It's a magical film, and I rate it nine over ten. I watched it. Is it nice? Yeah. Like nine over ten energy. I will go home and do the ending. <laughs> like, <laughs> wow. So when I return, I'll tell you whether it okay. is because I think it's stressing me out. <laughs> but it's okay. Ah. Like, it's interesting, well, actually. Well, Kiki enjoyed it, Chad. Yeah. So we have David Adele Konda, that same power series. No rating, no anything. No, you are doing well. But you have never seen power. Uh, I'm not surprised. You said you don't like things that are popping. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So who wants to go next? Okay, so um, let me take Twitter. And uh, on Twitter, Kali Parker... He says, I'm currently watching Eleanoid, a Korean movie. Gurus in the late Gaio dynasty try to obtain a flabbed holy sword and humans in two, two, 2022 hunt down an alien prisoner that is locked in a human's body. The two parties cross paths when a time-traveling portal open up. I'll rate it 8 over 10. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, Alpha says, now Korean series are they watch you? <laughs> Titled Big Mouth. Interesting storyline. I'll rate it 8 over 10. Mm -hmm. Lord says suit, just suit. Don't do this again, Lord. <laughs> um, Abdul says Gangs of London, it is fire. Oh. No rating. Wow. Um, Shay Tao says the end game season one. I enjoyed the movie. They went to Google the release date of season two. They were now saying there will be no season two for some ha. reasons known to them. I'll rate it 9.0 no, before. Do that nonsense, so. But now I have written it 5.0. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay, now. Last message on Twitter says, I am currently, Dara Simi says, I'm currently watching The Sandman. I'll rate it 7 over 10. A nice outfit, Big J. Thank you. All right, so... We have Benedict Patrick who says, good day. First of all, I actually have a crush on Dala. Secondly, I'm watching a very interesting series called Peaky Blinders. The, ma uh, the main character is Cillian Murphy. The movie is about a gang who are trying to conquer more parts of England. I'll rate it 
9 over 10. Mm -hmm. We have Franklin Okechuku who says, I'm currently watching a movie called Anikulaku and I will rate it as 7 over 10. It's about a man who could wake people from the dead and this made him greedy, which later made him to <laughs> neglect his wife who brought the fortune to him. And also I was so excited to see our very own uh, Arika Dimples. Much love. Uh, well, we have somebody responding to that, but the Chema AGK here says, love Lord of the Rings, the brave ones. So we've got Grace Olanria Day who says uh, entertainment splash is what um, she is watching. Nice. Frank Savage here says, uh, yeah, well, I can't get this, but then um, okay, I we think are. that is all we can take yeah. uh, on this particular segment today. Yes. All right. We will be back after this break with our guest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just the right song to usher in the next segment, ladies and gentlemen. Joining us on the show today is a mo model, hype woman, entertainer, and a reality TV star. She is the self-acclaimed hype priestess of Nigeria and also the fine girl with a ghetto spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show, the one, the only, the Big Brother Nigeria Season 7 winner, Fina! Woo! Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it's so good to have you here. Yes. Congratulations, mm -hmm. Fina. Very Congratulations much. all round. Like winning, getting a house, right. you know, uh, having a car. <laughs> uh, how does it even feel to be to be a winner? <laughs> no, do Shakara, do Shakara. <laughs> 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 uh, I feel good. I feel good. Like these are things that I've actually dreamed mm. of having, and mm. it's happening like this. Oh, sharp, sharp. And then I remember that um, the very first day, I think it was the first day you got in or when you settled in the second day, you were talking to Amaka, to be precise, about how you had a friend who was always talking about maybe wigs and all that. And then you said, you know, I don't even have a good wig, one like this. But, you know, after this show, we'll have plenty. <laughs> and then when you won, it was one of the things that came to mind. Like, hey, hey, <laughs> Nina has arrived, though. Let us come and be saying the new, new thing. Well, even though the funniest part, the funniest part is I've never even bought any wig. Are you serious? But I have a lot. But they've been giving you rights. Why? Yeah, yeah, that's true. true. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Yes. Oh, wow. Wow, so many questions on our minds yep. to ask you today. Yes, yeah. so I want to know, when your name was announced, what's the very first thing that came to your head? As a winner, As yeah? A winner, what's the first thing that entered your head? At the time, I was not trying to check if there was a similar sound between Finn and Brian. <laughs> <laughs> it was not clever. When everybody was like, who they are? I knew, okay, I think that's me. <laughs> because let's say I didn't really hear Buka clearly, but I was shocked. <laughs> because that day, I was coming to chest first run up on my foot chest. I was oh, not wow. expecting win. Yeah. Just call Brian, let's be going. And oh. I was shocked, honestly. Hi. Yeah. Okay, so imagine. let's talk about inside the house when you got into the house there's something that usually happens that wakes us all up with like it's a shocker <laughs> yeah, that it. alarm <laughs> yeah. how was it for you when you heard the alarm the first time See, it was terrible no it got to an extent i don't used to hear it again my room my speaker was on top of my head. Hey. Once that thing is sounding, just wasting its time. Hmm. It's not going to wake me sorry, up. <laughs> sorry to interject. It was you and Groovy making out one day, and then Big Brother called you. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Like, like that, what was the feeling like? Uh -uh, why well, not? Uh, actually, on a normal ground, I would get angry. But until then, my helper called me. <laughs> <laughs> I need to go. Yeah, I needed to like go. Yeah. Amazing. All right, let's talk about the hype priestess business because that's what you were doing before you got into the yes. house. But just side question, Fed. They say you like fixing home appliances. I uh, don't understand. Just uh, that, explain maybe, yourself. Maybe that's coming from the father. I'm an engineer. I did engineering in school. Oh, so interesting. I know they take I see something. We don't spoil. Even if you never ask, well, go open and we'll check out the table. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, one, one of the moments that um, took me by awe in the house was... Uh, so before then, everybody knew you to be the energy queen and everything. Mm -hmm. And then there was a presentation, a task. And then you came and you delivered. Yeah. You had you you talked. You delivered. I was like, wow, she's actually really brilliant. So the narrative changed for you at that point. Everybody was like, wow, she's beauty and brains yeah. at the same time. Now I'm coming to the point where you were um, the head of house, mm. and your people had to. You, no, it was you and Chichi. When you were, it was Chichi that was the head of house, okay. and you were presenting to her. That funny moment where the picture, yes. yeah, the picture, picture yeah. Just, yes. 
Oh, she, she is my girl, that like, I didn't know what to say to her, like, what's the one they tell you now? <laughs> Let's just do the normal thing that I know, whenever we're doing it, we're always happy. Mm -hmm. I just started the, you know, the whole thing. <laughs> I didn't have anything to say to her, honestly. All yeah, right. Yeah. Afina. Yeah. Um, hmm. <laughs> what is the relationship with Amaka? Because when you got out, you had an interview and then you said that, oh, she did not congratulate me or something no, of that sort. No, no, I never said she Or did. I heard something on a radio station. I think it was a radio station. We're talking about... No, what I said is... Because when I came out, I got to, like, see some interviews. Then a lot of people be like, Amaka came out and she was bashing dragging. Yeah, this. yeah. What I said was that congratulation. I was like, no matter what, ever any, no matter what anybody say, you, you will congratulate yes, it's me. me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So for me and Amaka, I really... I don't have issues with her. Mm -hmm. Of which I know the issue we had, I, I tried settling that in the house. Okay. I apologized to her like three times mm -hmm. over the issue of, you know. Well, upon coming out. On coming out, I met the whole thing of which she still has it in mind. And so she comes to me and says, Fina, this is it. Mm -hmm. I don't have issue with her. I still talk to her anytime I see her in parties. Yes. Mm -hmm. I dance with her. I vibe. So uh, does she vibe back? Does she give uh, you the same actually, energy? I'm not looking at her face. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> She's the energy for <laughs> me. But what's the, what's the energy with Groovy now? Because we had him on the show. Yeah. And what's the energy with Groovy? The energy is good. You better say, when I don't go to the house. When I don't greet us, hey, when they ask you, look at me, when they ask you. Is that like, you guys are good? Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. dating or anything? It's a private piece. Hi, it's, it's the way she don't date. I like you, I like you, like that. It's okay. I mean, <laughs> there, were, there were different moments in the house where, I mean, you had face off with a few people, you yeah. settled it. But is there any moments that you regret in the house? No. Mm. Because everything that happened in the house, all the fight, every time the chest on my foot chest. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> so before I'll quarrel with anybody, I, I, I don't easily like get angry and mm -hmm. I used to count. So ah. before your cup go full eh, and yes. well, I'll come and give you hot hearts. I'm not supposed to regret some. So I, 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 I there's no Moments of regret in the house. Okay. For us, with the outside, you know, when we saw you, we were like, ah, what happened that day where you, the vex for Shags and Bella? Yeah. We did clear the. I was the one that was the head of us. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. yes. Okay, no, now, that day we were, I was just sitting on my chair and, you know, I think the morning of that day we were, when, when Chomzi and uh, Eloswag dipped. Yeah. So we're not talking about the food mm -hmm. and they were telling me that, uh, I will say it as it is, Bella yeah. is not my baby girl actually <laughs> yeah. and Shags too, but then. So they were, the way they were telling me, Eloswag said you should give, give us the food, not jig. So, <laughs> not <bad. laughs> no so I was like, they were rude. So they needed to. So when the Eloswag and Chomzin came downstairs, Bella was now telling Chomzin the issue. And I was mm -hmm. on my chair, I was looking at them. Like, and I said, please, you can have this conversation. Because I was hearing Fina, Fina, Fina. I said, you can have this conversation later. The next thing, just entered you know. the <laughs> fire down. Kitty go, kitty go, kitty go. <laughs> All right, guys, after this quick break, we will be back with Fina, still right here in the building, telling us more about herself. Enjoy. I swear, I hate you to put me in sometimes. because I like you so much. And uh, welcome back. <laughs> we still have the winner, Big Brother Niger, level up season seven in the building. Fina! Oh my word. So I wonder, what was your strategy going into the house? Because you seem very focused. Every time you go into the diary room, you just say, Omo, I know Konya Konlo, fine boy, or fine girl. Now money, I can't collect. What was your strategy? And did you stick to it like the entire time? Actually, I didn't go there with the strategy. I went there. In fact, the fact that they just, they just called me for lockdown that I've been picked. Mm -hmm. I, I just went there to do me. Yeah. Yeah, just, I, in fact, I didn't even finish doing me. Uh, wish we had, <laughs> and I didn't even finish it. So, wish we had longer time, I'll finish it. Oh, wow. So, I just went there and I was just wow. me. Yeah. So, it brings me to um, your slogan. Who they? Who they? So, I mean, everybody loves, loves you, everybody yeah. loves everything. There was rancor on social media when you were in there on Twitter. It's like, ah, who they breathe is white money. And then who they now Fina and even the owner of the who they breed came out and said, ah, I'm a, now my girl be this way. I love this girl. I love. Do Fina. you know what happened? You know, I've never watched Big Brother. Mm -hmm. Like I've auditioned four times. This is the fifth. Any year they don't pick me, I don't watch. Yeah. It was inside the house. Who was that person? Somebody told me that white money usually say who they who they, who they 
I was not like, eh, really? Ah. And my own is not like the who day. Is that common body, not join body? Yeah. If you join body, you collect. Who day, you get. So I was like, <laughs> oh, that works. That's fine. Okay, <laughs> so Fina, when you got inside to that same day that you were talking about weeks, mm. because mm. it was that first day that I already <laughs> had my eyes on you. Uh, you talked about your parents and you talked about how if you win, you're going to take care of your health, especially yeah. your mom, yeah. you know. And then when you came out and you eventually won and it dawned on you, it yeah. was my name that he just called yeah, so. and everything else settled. You know, at first everything was still, but mm -hmm. when everything settled and then like, what, what, what is it from here? How do you go about that plan that you had initially? Sure, I'm going to have it, but for my dad, I will pass him money while I go take go do in leg. Man, give him the money. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So yeah. for my mom, I won it. But for my dad, he made his points very clear. Yeah. So he can give him the money, of which I will give it to him. But I want to give it to him alongside the car. So towards that, everybody. So we look forward to that. Let's lose it to us. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Yeah. So I know one of the people that were like really supported you in the house was Dotun, deal to the TU, and I think that came from like the whole hype biz and yes. all that. Yes. Have you been able to see him? And are you going to continue doing that at some point in time? Yes, I'll continue hyping. And uh, Dotun, you know, we've been like busy, busy, busy. I saw yeah. him at my winner's party. Aww. I saw him at, there was <coughs> one, when I was in the media around, I saw yeah. him there. So I really, 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 really want to. I want him on Chingom and say, yes. look, at <laughs> look at the land more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so the hype thing is, make I just finish all these things. Yeah. You people will know. Hey. Abi? Mm. No, but give us more insight. I mean, aside um, just the hype, yeah. the brand thing, uh, what, what are your fans expecting from you? What are you going to be doing for them? The fact that, from my head to toe, is fully entertainment. Yeah. They should be ready to see different contents, it's not mm. just on one part. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They should be ready to see me in the comedy line, yeah. the hype line, yeah. entertainment. I'm going to have a farm, so they'll come and be buying uh, raw, raw things. <laughs> <from me. laughs> then with time, I'm having a club, then you can come and be partying nice. in my street club. Mm. Yes. And lots more. Amazing. Uh, Amazing. Uh, Amazing. 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 Good day. Good day. <laughs> How is your child, by the way? <laughs> my child? Yes, your oh, baby girl. Oh, my baby girl. Uh, she's fine. I've not seen her. Ah, uh, since? Uh, yeah, I've not seen her. She's with my aunt. It's, it's not as if she's like my child, child, I know, child. I know, I know. Yeah. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Just let her know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so you might quickly want to tell people who that person is or before. Yeah, she's my, my, my ever cousin, my cousin. Uh, his wife, she died before giving birth. Mm, like, so that day, she was supposed to that. give birth that day, and I think when they, the operation, she didn't make it, so they quickly rushed the baby out. And child. since then, I've been the one taking care of the baby. Oh, A lot of people actually think she's my child, and she's my child. So I'm even planning on like taking, bringing her with me, but I need all this busy, busy to yeah. reduce. Yeah. Yeah. Why but do you always have? Issues online, <laughs> bad posts. The other time, somebody you said somebody who sent you a death threat. Yes. Oh no no. Huh? Oh no it, it, no. It comes with the territory. Like, and you know what's really paining me? I keep saying it. The thing that is paining me, I want them to know that I am from the streets too. Like, mm -hmm. you okay. see all those people they say be drag person. You say you go drag person, you go they cry. Yeah. I be pro max. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the management. I am a pro max. Like, if I give person reply, I go go think for like all those kind thirty minutes. Well, because of rules and regulation now. <laughs> the, the type that we're giving in the house. Yes, you should come out his back. Like, if I even by mistake know your house, I go drive, come your house, come beat you. <laughs> if I don't leave it, don't let me go report. Mm, we go to do case. But girl, that, that's, that's, yeah. not, that's, that's, that's not level of winner energy. <laughs> so I like that your management is putting a lid on that. Because I what? Because, uh, <laughs> But it's good, child. Yeah. God, they do things for persons. So, yes. You know, so, yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Thank you so very much, Fina, for coming on the show. Absolutely love you. You are a bundle of fun energy, yeah. and we can't wait to see what you come up with. Yeah. And that's it with our guest for today. And it is a wrap on the show as well. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. So I'm signing out now. On behalf of myself, Dalai Kate, the goddess, Big J, Fina, the high princess. Thank yes, you. yes, yes. <laughs> and Honish Money. We say bye for now, guys, and we see you all tomorrow, all right? Yeah.